Hello and welcome to a new episode of Africa Today. Today we're going to focus about the ties between Egypt and uh, Sudan, South Sudan, in light of the uh, visit by South Sudanese uh, President Salva Kiir to Egypt. But first, we're going to start with Ivory Coast, where the president there has dismissed the heads of the army, where the police and the uh, gen gendermen following a two-day army maternity that stoked security fears in the uh, country. Uh, this grant, the soldiers demanding the payment of bonuses and wage increases began their revolt on Friday, seizing control of the Boke, the country's second largest city, before uh, troops in uh, the uh, military camps and cities and towns across the country joined the mutiny. The dismissals came just hours after the resignation uh, of the Prime Minister, a move that have been expected following last month's election but was delayed by the army revolt. And moving to South Africa where the uh, firefighters said that the uh, wildfires in South Africa which burned down at least seven buildings including heritage buildings are 50% under control. The fires had started on a plantation in late on Monday in the early hours of Tuesday. Strong winds, fans and flames which rapidly spread to several farms along the slopes of the mountain. And a, a delegation of uh, current and former West African uh, leaders is to meet Gambia president to encourage him to step down. The long-time leader has refused to accept the outcome of December's presidential elections, and we have more in the following report. Yaya Jama to step down. Nigerian Anyone? Foreign Minister Jeffrey Onyema said violence should be avoided but nothing is ruled out. Buhari is to join Liberian President Ellen Johnson Sirleaf and former Ghanaian President John Dramani Mahama in the Gambian capital of Banjul on Wednesday. We are to discuss with President Jama the imperative to respect the Constitution. The mandate for Jama's five years to January 18 after which President-elect Adam Aboro is due to take power. If he refuses to do so by that date, the economic community of West African states, ECOWAS, may use military intervention. JAMA lost December 1 elections to opposition candidate Adam Aboro. After initially accepting the results... And uh, moving to Nigeria, where it have reclaimed its position as Africa's top oil producer, which it lost to fellow African oil producer Angola earlier in March 2016. And let's take a look. of the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, OPEC, crude oil production from Nigeria even before the January 2017 planned production cut agreed by OPEC and non-OPEC producers. Angola would be expected to cut about 78,000 barrels per day of its production in the agreement which was sealed in 2016. Information from primary sources in the MOMR stated that Nigeria produced 1.782 million barrels of oil as against Angola's 1.688 million to show its takeover of Angola by about 94,000 barrels per day. According to secondary sources, OPEC crude oil production in November increased by 151 trillion barrels per day compared to the previous month to average 33.87 million barrels per day. Crude oil output increased the most in Angola, Nigeria and Libya, while production in Kuwait and Saudi Arabia showed the largest decline. 
Earlier in the year, when Nigeria lost its position as Africa's largest producer, its output fell to about 1.677 million barrels as against Angola's 1.782 million barrels then. The development was made possibly by repeated attacks on Nigerian oil infrastructure by militants in the Niger Delta.